हेलो स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी स्ट्रेन इन थिन सिलेंड्रिकल शेल हाउ टू फाइंड आउट द स्ट्रेन इन थिन सिलेंड्रिकल शेल वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट नाउ द वॉल्यूमेट्रिक स्ट्रेन वी हैव टू टाइप्स ऑफ स्ट्रेसेस बेसिकली वी हैव ऑलरेडी स्टडीड दैट देर आर टू टाइप्स ऑफ स्ट्रेसेस ऑन ए पार्टिकल ऑफ द मेटीरियल दैट इज हु स्ट्रेस that is hoop stress sigma h which is given by pd by 2t and sigma l which is given by pd by 4t right so these are the two types of stresses and due to these stresses there is volumetric strain developed in the material of entire uh, entire volume of the cylinder right and suppose the volume of the cylinder is given by suppose uh, this is the cylinder this is a thin cylinder we are talking about thin cylinder this is a thin cylinder and it is closed from sides it is closed from side and d is the inner diameter d is the inner diameter and l is the length of the cylinder length of this cylinder right then the volume of the cylinder is v will be given by and suppose the radius in terms of radius suppose we want to say this is suppose radius r so we will we will write pi r square l so this is the uh, volume of this cylindrical right right and it is thin cylinder where r is the inner radius and it has some thickness very small thickness this so this is the volume right is it okay this is the volume of this cylinder right but what is the volumetric strain and you know volumetric strain change in volume per unit volume right so we want to find out the volumetric strain in the of this material right we know that v is equal to pi r square l if v uh, our aim is to find out volumetric strain that is we want to find out volumetric strain if v here is a function of r and l r and l and there is some variation in these properties r and l due to hoop stress and longitudinal stresses so v is a function of r and l then mathematically we can write that dv the differentiation of v full differentiation total differentiation of v that is equal to partial differentiation of v with respect to r multiplied by dr plus partial derivative of v with respect to l multiplied by dl right this is uh, the relation between partial differentiation and total differentiation this you already studied in your mathematics and if not studied then you can you should study it that what is the relation between total derivative and partial derivative if something is varying with some respect to certain uh, different variables right so this v is a variable with respect to r and l and dv is equal to del v by del r partial derivative dot dr plus del v by del r dot dl right so this is the uh, uh, change in volume dv change in volume of the material what is del v by del r del v by del r here if we differentiate it with respect to v with respect to r partial derivative then it will be 2 pi r l because l is constant here l is constant because this is partial derivative with respect to r so we will write 2 pi r l similarly del v by del l will be equal to del v by del l that will be equal to only pi r square because l becomes 1 so pi r square so this is the del v by del r and this is del v by del l 2 pi r l or and pi r square now if we put here if we put here dv will be equal to del v by del r is 2 pi r l dot dr plus del v by del l del v by del l is pi r square so pi r square dl if we divide both side by v the volume dividing both side by volume v so we can write dv by v dv by v which is volumetric strain what is dv by v is the volumetric strain which is our purpose to find out the volumetric strain dv by v that is equal to 2 pi r l dr so uh, we have divided by uh, v so 2 pi r l dr divided by pi r square l pi r square l plus 
पाई आर स्क्र डी एल डिवाइड बाय पाई आर स्क्र एल सो यू विल गेट द वॉल्यूमेट्रिक स्ट्रेन एज दैट इज इक्वल टू हेयर सम थिंग्स विल बी कैंसिल्ड आउट टू पाई आर एर कैंसिल आउट पाई कैंसिल आउट सो यू विल गेट टू डी आर बाय आर प्लस से इट इज डी वी बाई बी फॉर द टाइम मी टू डी आर बाय आर प्लस डी एल बाई एल एंड वट इज डी आर बाय आर डी आर बाय आर इन रेडियल डायरेक्शन इन रेडियल डायरेक्शन दिस इज हुप स्ट्रेस दिस इज हुप स्ट्रेस एंड इन डी एल बाय एल इज लॉन्ग टर्न डायरेक्शन दिस इज लॉन्गिट्यूडल स्ट्रेस राइट सो वी कैन राइट स्ट्रेन हुप स्ट्रेन एंड लॉन्गिट्यूडल स्ट्रेन राइट सो डी वी बाई वी डी वी बाई वी इज द बेसिकली वॉल्यूमेट्रिक स्ट्रेन दिस इज वॉल्यूमेट्रिक स्ट्रेन सो दिस वॉल्यूमेट्रिक स्ट्रेन विल बी इक्वल टू टू टाइम्स सर्कमफिशियल स्ट्रेन दैट इज हुप स्ट्रेन प्लस लॉन्गिट्यूडल स्ट्रेन सो एफसाइलन वी इक्वल टू टू एफसाइलन एच प्लस एफसाइलन एन दिस यू शुड रिमेंबर फॉर सिलेंडर्स फॉर सिलेंडर्स इट इज ऑलवेज द केस दैट वॉल्यूमेट्रिक स्ट्रेन इज गिवन बाई टू टाइम्स सर्कमफिशियल स्ट्रेन प्लस लॉन्गिट्यूडल स्ट्रेन सो टू एफसाइल एन एच प्लस एफसाइल एन एल राइट सो इट इज ओके दैट वॉल्यूमेट्रिक स्ट्रेन इन टर्म्स ऑफ हुप स्ट्रेन एंड लॉन्गिट्यूडल स्ट्रेन इज वी हैव ऑप्टेन बट वट इज द वैल्यू वट इज द वैल्यू इन टर्म्स ऑफ पी डी एंड टी बिकॉज वी वॉन्ट टू फाइंड आउट द वैल्यू ऑफ दिस इन टर्म्स ऑफ पी D and T because this is these things are known to us these are the known quantities so we want to find out in terms of P D and T so first we have to find out hoop strain in terms of P D T then longitudinal strains in terms of P D T and then we have to find out the volumetric strain in terms of P D and T P is the pressure internal pressure applied D is the diameter internal diameter this and T is the thickness thickness this thickness of the cylinder right so let us find out the volumetric strain in terms of p d and t what is volumetric strain in terms of p d and t so let us find out first the hoop strain hoop strain epsilon h this will be equal to you know at sigma h by e minus sigma l Minus mu sigma l by e. Go to the chapter of uh, elastic constants. You will get this relation here, there. We have already studied that sigma h by e, uh, the longitudinal strain, uh, the strain in which we are taking the, the stress in which the, in we are taking the strain. That sigma h by e minus mu times Poisson's ratio times the sigma l by e, right? So what is sigma h? You know what is sigma h? That is P d by 2 t. Divided by e minus mu Poisson's ratio. Uh, this is P d by 4 t e. So from here we will get hoop strain as hoop strain. You will get from here as P d by 4 t e. We can uh, take the P d by 4 t e common common, and what you will get inside is 2 minus mu 2 minus So this is the hoop strain in terms of P D and T, right? And mu and is E are constant of the material, right? So this is equation number one. Similarly, find out the longitudinal strain, right? Suppose this is equation number one. This is equation number two. Similarly, find out the longitudinal strains epsilon L. So that will be equal to sigma L by E, sigma L by E minus mu times sigma H by E. and you know that what is sigma l sigma l is pd by 40 minus mu times pd by sigma h is 2t so in this case longitudinal strain will be given by pd by 40e pd by 40e again take pd by 40e common and you will get 1 minus 2 mu so this is the longitudinal strain And equation number three, right? So we have obtained epsilon h and epsilon n. Put these values in one. Put in one. Put this value. Put in one. And also put this value in one. 
equation number one and finally you will get volumetric strain solve it and you will get the volumetric strain so volumetric strain will be given by two times two times this value uh, epsilon h and epsilon l so final i am writing the final result now you can solve it and get the final result i am writing only the final result the volumetric strain of the material that is given by pd by 40e pd by 40e you have to remember this this is important term 5 minus 4 mu 5 minus 4 mu so this is the final volumetric strain of the material and this should be remembered this is also important pd by 40 5 minus 4 mu so this is the strain developed we have written three types of strain basically here one is hoop strain another is longitudinal strain and combining these into this equation two times hoop strain and one times longitudinal strains we got the volumetric strain y equation this so this equation for hoop strain you have to remember this equation longitudinal strain you have to remember and this equation is very important volumetric strain you have to remember right sometimes numerical scheme in which you have to find the change in volume and some things are given so change in volume can be obtained by this equation change in volume dv and v is known to us so by this equation we have to find out the change in volume or sometimes they directly ask for volumetric strain so you should remember this formula directly